I drank a whole bottle of Jägermeister one time. Anybody ever do that? You guys have? Yeah. I know you're lying because you'd be dead. But you know, drinking a whole bottle of Jaeger is like being in the eye of a tornado. You know bad stuff's gonna happen. You gotta prepare, okay? You can't just sit there quietly. You gotta prepare. You gotta get all your sharp stuff away from you. Make out a will. Duct tape your dog's asshole closed. You got things to do. All right, everyone. I'm not saying you have to do these things. I'm just saying be prepared. Learned it in the scouts. All right, did you guys see this movie, Freddy vs. Jason? Did you guys see that? Yeah. yeah. I missed that because the night before it was David Tell versus a cohort. It was equally as frightening. <laughs> Twists and turns. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Yeah, I know. I didn't finish the whole shot, people, okay? You want to talk about it? Because you know what's down here? All my broken dreams. That's what's here, all right? Could have played basketball if I grew up in the Philippines. It's right down here, okay? Could have been Vin Diesel if people wanted an action hero with tits. See, it's all down here, people. It's down here. Let me tell you something about shaving your pubes, okay? When a guy does it... It doesn't look erotic and exotic. It looks kind of sad and desperate. It looks like your penis's mom didn't pick him up after soccer practice. All right, good night, Raleigh. Thank you. Ten minutes after you left. It's always ten minutes after you leave when all the fun shows up. Like the fun mobiles are blocked behind you at all times. Full of strippers and midgets and balloons and type of fun imaginable. Ten minutes after you left, the Dixie Chicks came in and banged everybody, and uh, even the fat boy with asthma got a hand job. Thank you very much. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you, New York City. Take it easy. This map of San Francisco, and you're like, how can I laugh when I know how expensive it is to live here? Look at San Francisco, huh? The lights are on. You sure this is this town with the power shortage? The lights are on. Right here, there's a guy working on a screenplay called I Think I'm Gay. And over here's a guy going, should I call my website boop bop beep bop dot boop bop? Wee! I gotta get down to the wharf because I'm a mime and a magician. So I'm sitting on the couch, my dog's licking himself, I'm masturbating. We catch each other's eyes, we both start laughing. Now that was a night. My dog has a nice little laugh, like a little Korean uh, geisha. <laughs> Here's a little drinking tip. Never ever get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. It's true. Uh, thank you very much. You guys have been a lot of fun. San Francisco, good night. time here. Some of you were looking at me like, just give me my kebab and let me out of here. All right. Any pop people here tonight? Yes. In this moment of terror, the pop people are the people we need protecting the airports. Am I right, London? Who better can stand for hours looking at nothing? I think we got something. Oh, no, it's just my hand. Speaking of terror, there was a terror alert today. There was a bright, shiny object in the sky today. I think it was called the sun. You guys have the worst weather I've ever seen in my life. You guys would have to tan two days just to be pale. Really, I'm, I'm telling you. London, thank you very much. <laughs> Miami, man, it's just so hot here. I need a nap after I fart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, that was a doozy. <laughs> There's always like some kind of lightning storm down here, and that's got to be the worst way to die, being struck by lightning. Because that's like God's drive-by shooting, you know? You're just walking out of a gay bookstore, minding your own business. I hear it all the time. Dave, you're talking about being gay. Maybe you really are gay. And I'm like, listen, voice in my head. <laughs> Quiet. I got to watch the ice capades. 
Well, you know, you wouldn't like being gay. I know I wouldn't, because one time during a horrible gardening accident, a cucumber went up my ass. Yep, three times. You're a doctor. You've seen that, haven't you? It's hard down here, because all the women are hot, and they all got that cleavage hanging out at you, staring at you, making you do things like dance. It's amazing. I can't do that. I can't walk around with half a ball hanging out, can I? Thanks a lot, Miami. I'll see you again. and Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. Even if you get drunk and lost, you're home. That's the way I see it. That's hard work being a farmer. You gotta have patience when you're a farmer. You don't meet many chain-smoking farmers, you know? Bro. Come on now, bro. I, I think I see something. No. My dad was in the military. Anybody in the military here? He's at that age where his war stories and his other stories blend together into one long story that you don't understand. He's like, one time we were surrounded, then we ran out of ammo, then we were fighting hand to hand, then we started dancing, and that's how I met your mother. What? <laughs> women have all the power, because women have all the vaginas. Have you ever thought about it? It hit me the other day while I was doing this. The vagina beats everything. Rock, paper, scissors. No, the vagina always wins. Thank you very much, Kansas City. You are the bomb. So, San Diego. You ever make fun of someone so much you think you should thank them for all the good times you've had? You know what I'm talking about. I'm getting old. Even my laugh is getting old. I have that old man laugh. You've heard it, right? <laughs> with that little slide at the end, back to reality, like, funny, funny, oh, I got a mortgage, my third son might be gay, oh, man. Here's some condom advice for the people of San Diego. Never let a woman put a condom on you, because it's embarrassing, it's like, oh, look, hey, look, there's still more room. <laughs> we could tie it off and use it again and again and again, because you have a small penis, and I know, because I teach kids how to swim. Now. If someone looks at your penis for the first time, you want a little reaction. You want some excitement. You want another language, if possible, like, <gasps> Santa Maria! Ay, papi! Oh, no! Oh, no! God! God, let me out! That's good. But if someone looks at your penis and the first thing out of their mouth is, Oh, that's not good. Time to buy a Corvette, all right? Thank you very much, San Diego. You guys have been a lot of fun. You know what this town could use? You know what Baltimore could really use? Another one-way street. That's the way I see it. <laughs> I don't know how you people get around. I went out for milk today. I ended up in Philadelphia. I don't know. Well, give me a hoagie cheesecake. I saw a guy today with, like, weird hair. He carved the line going all the ways around his head. Just this line going all the ways around. Why? Is that for when you say, you know, I have had it up to here? Really, look. No, really, I have. We live in a racist world, am I right? Right. Am I right? Right. I know, because I'm Hawaiian. <laughs> I'll tell you, we do. I uh, went to a Klan meeting. Why are they still having meetings? Is there any new business with the Ku Klux Klan? <laughs> what is that, for questions or something? Excuse me, uh, Grand Wizard? Yeah. I went on vacation, and I got really tan. Should I kick my own ass and burn my house down? One time I took acid. Have you guys ever taken acid? You know what's fun to do on acid? Everything. That's the problem. <laughs> we went to play miniature golf. Putt, putt. Have you ever played miniature golf on acid? Oh, God. For three days, I thought I was the king of that little town. I was like, hello. <laughs> hello, putt, putt people. You in the windmill. Why do you hate me? I've been here before, because everybody's getting drunk and they're dancing. And if you don't hook up, you can just cross the bridge over to Arkansas. <laughs> oh, over there, you can see a man mud, really, <laughs> with a line behind him. <laughs> what keeps a relationship alive, man? What is it? Is Lots it of sex. Lots of sex? <laughs> yeah, he said that, not her, though. <laughs> anyway, you know, I don't know, a job would help. <laughs> sex and murder are the same in a way. Well, you say the same after both, don't you? I gotta get the out of here. Holy <laughs> I was I was thinking, oh, that's not my shoe. <laughs> You ever smell one foot and then smell the other one to make sure the first foot isn't sick? <laughs> tequila, that is a wild man drink, really. You can give tequila to the nicest, sweetest girl. She's like, how come someone isn't sucking my titties? <laughs> 
What is this, a f hunt or something like that? All right, good night, guys. Thanks a lot. My best friend's a midget. I have another friend who's an albino. Together we call ourselves the Unfuckables. Now, we travel around from bar to bar making sure women get home very early. Now, a lot of you probably have dirty thoughts and you have no way to get them out. Here's a way to say anything dirty and never be responsible. All you have to say first is, I read this article. And then you can say anything you want. You know, I read this article that the best way to remove peanut butter from your balls is a dog. Did you know that? Yes. No, I read this article. A lot of people think if you watch the ice capades, you're gay. No. I think you're gay if you're watching the ice capades and you go, shh. I'm trying to watch the ice capades. <laughs> Quiet! You ever see the ad, call up now for your dream job? Your dream job's a phone call away? I just call up, I'm like, hello? Is this a chocolate factory run by big-titted hookers? <laughs> no? I'm getting some laughs. It's like the Discovery Channel. I watch the Discovery Channel. You know what I've discovered? I need a girlfriend. That's what I've discovered. Once you've watched everything on the planet have sex, it's your turn. Bugs, rocks, plants, everything's getting laid. Even the dust mite, it lives in your eyebrow. There's things on you having sex while you're not having sex. After I heard that, I went home and shaved my ass. I did it. It's a fire line, they can't cross it. Thank you very much, you guys have been a lot of fun. Philadelphia, I am glad I'm here. And I'm glad we left some seats open because you never know when earth, wind, and fire might want to come in. And... You guys are a good crowd, you know, because I'm used to the heckling. That's probably why there's nobody up front, because they're hecklers. Some guy says something, you suck. Then I'm going to say, so does your mother. And then he says something, then I say something. Ten minutes later, the guy's screaming, my eye. The comic bit out my eye. <laughs> Close the show down, and no chicken fingers are sold that night. Zero movement on the chicken fingers. I do look like a terrorist, don't I? I get on the plane, everybody there starts freaking out. The guy next to me turns to me and goes, I know karate. I look out the window, there's an F-15 pilot looking at me. He's like, <laughs> Ladies, what's with the finger in the man's ass nowadays? And why does it cost $50? <laughs> Thank you, Philly, you guys have been great. Boston, College Town. It's hard hooking up in college because you got to sleep in bunk beds. You sleep in a bunk bed here? I feel you do, right? You can never sleep in a bunk bed because if you sleep up top, you think you're going to roll out all night. So you're like, no, all right, all right, I'm all right. And if you sleep down below, you think you're about to be peed on at any moment. But I did learn how to masturbate without moving. I am very accident prone. I almost killed myself with a Q-tip one time. I was cleaning my ear, right, and the phone rang, and I forgot I had the Q-tip in my ear, and I hammered it into my head. But get this, I shit a quarter. Now, I thought I was onto something. You guys love the shit jokes. Where have you been my whole life? This is great. How old are you, miss? How old are you? You're 21, looking for fun. I'm 36. That's not too old for you? No. Not at all? No. Really? I could be kind of like that retarded janitor at the school that you bang for a term paper, something like that, some kind of research. I'm a sensitive dude. I like to cuddle, you know? But there's such a fine line between cuddling and holding someone down so they can't get away. Am I right? Come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. You got that saved by the bell look, but I know you're all wildcat. Is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, Boston? Is it really? Well, the whores have spoken. <laughs> Thanks again. Boston, you rock. Boise, Idaho. Am I saying it right? You know what I like about this town? You can wear a flannel shirt. And a flannel is a manly shirt. What goes with a flannel shirt, Boise? Right? A chainsaw, a restraining order. Am I right? My best friend is a midget. But will he ever leave? <laughs> forget it. Forget it. Just forget it. My dog has a habit of sniffing my crotch. Is that normal? In the shower? Is that even allowed, Boise? <laughs> Fluffy, no, no, yes. Oh, my Lord. Kids are beautiful, aren't they? Who can forget the look in a child's eye when you take them out of your trunk? Am I right? <laughs> 
See, not every town laughs at that. You know what you're doing, Boise. You know what you're doing. All right? This is the funny bone, because that's what humor looks like. A penis with a cane in hands. That's what it looks like, everyone. Thanks a lot, Boise. You guys are great. Take it easy. Are you from Atlanta? You're not. I can tell you. You know why? Because you don't have that Atlanta mustache. Every other guy here has that kind of Ted Turner, Burt Reynolds mustache. Look at him. Mm. Could own his own company, could direct porn. It could go either way. What do you do when you get caught masturbating? Well, here's a little tip. First, look surprised, all right? And don't worry, you will be surprised. And then say this, quick, get some help. My hand and penis are fighting. If that doesn't give a 10-year-old a stutter, nothing will. Thank you. Who brought their favorite pony to the show tonight? Give that a sugar cube. The last time I heard a laugh like that, it also had a blowhole. What is that? Wow. How about a hand for the man who has to f*** that? Especially the women, they're so nice and friendly and attractive. Not like in America, the women there are so defensive in America. I offer a girl a piece of gum, she's like, oh, what do I need gum? You think I need a piece? I'm just trying to be nice. If I was gonna give you something you need, it would be mustache, wax, and a t-shirt that says one c at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a honey, isn't it? You guys are on a date, aren't you? Is this a first date? You know what's a horrible first date? Balloon ride. You feel so unmanly up in a balloon. But your lady loves it. It's like a tampon commercial come to life. So free and easy. You know what really wakes me up early in the morning? A tongue in the ass. Right out of bed. Yep. It's the Hobo's Espresso. You're up. The day has begun. Thank you very much, Montreal. Sexy town, but the women here have no time for bullshit. Every woman in this town has an agenda. I bought a blow-up doll, it had a watch. All right, that's all I'm saying. Alcohol plays tricks on you, it really does. It's the original magic trick, right? Alcohol can make a red light look green or a 15-year-old look 18. You know what I'm saying? Come on, New York, you know what I'm saying. Everyone masturbates. Everyone. By that I mean human. Not many animals do. For example, the turtle. He does not masturbate. But he is thinking about it. Slowly. Thanks a lot, New York. You guys have been great. Yes! <laughs> Balloons are like a kid's drug, aren't they? They're like Valium to a child. It's like, what's wrong? <laughs> Here. Oh. <laughs> My best friend is a midget, everyone, and everybody should have one midget friend, you know, because we're, they're kind and loyal, and if you're sad, you can always just look at them. Am I right? I mean, come on. No, that's all right, there's more. Yeah. We do everything together except Seesaw, because that really wouldn't be fair to him, you know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Whoop. Holy who hang. Can I help you, miss? You know, there's a show going on here. Oh, I'm an asshole. Okay, well, can I get a little security up here quickly? A little security? No, no, how about a balloon? Balloon! Thank you, Myrtle B! You know, still got like bong water on his chin. He's got that look like, whoa, what? Is this something up here? What's going on? I have to tell you this, porno, there's lots of different types, but I have to say midget porn. There's something about it that makes me want to wake the kids. Am I right? My kids should be watching this. They get a kick out of it. Look at him. Let him go. Anchorage, thank you very much. All right. Cleveland, come on. I am bald, you know. I thought if I shaved my head, it would make me look tough, you know, like a bouncer or something like that. I go to a bar. This woman comes up to me and goes, you know what? You look like a gigantic baby. <laughs> and I'm like, wah, I want some wah. My cousin had a baby, and I was watching her breastfeed for a couple of bucks, and I'll tell you, ladies, that's pretty wild, because you got drinks coming out of you, you know that? You're like a Snapple or something like that. I don't get it. Fellas, we can't breastfeed, which is probably good.
Because if we could, we'd spend the whole time squirting each other. Now, you know we would. <laughs> well, we got nipples, too. Something should come out of our nipples. Something manly, though, like motor oil. How's that? <laughs> or beer. No, it can't be beer, because then your buddies would want to suck your nipples, wouldn't they? <laughs> Cleveland, I love you. Thank you very much. How's it going, Arkansas? Come on, Little Rock. This is f***ing loony. Look at it. Look how loony it is. Dilated pupils, bright red tongue. That's f***ing crystal meth. That's what we're looking at right up there. One of my balls hangs lower than the other. Now, that is weird looking. Have you seen it? Well, the night is young. You're going to see it. I don't know if he's low or he has his own agenda. I'm not exactly sure. He's got places to go, people to see, chins to fall on. <laughs> Cigarettes are kind of cheap down here. Like three bad. Yeah, they're kind of cheap, man. New York City, seven bucks a pack. Seven bucks a pack, yeah. And all the time you're smoking, you're thinking, for another three, I could be smoking crack right now. Thank you very much. You guys have been a blast. Have you had that? It's like, mmm, there goes reasoning. <laughs> Goodbye, bowel control. <laughs> Women don't know what single is. Men know what it is. Single. I'm single. I'm alone. I'm a loser. I need singles to go to the strip club. People are always uh, talking about internet porno. It's so good. I think these people are cowards. Sitting in their house or mom's basement, logging on and watching porno. I'm old school. I want porno. I have to get up. That's right. Get up. Put on a raincoat, a crazy wig, and get down to that porn store. Yes. There you go. You got to want it. Thank you very much. Toronto has a lot of beautiful women. Am I right, fellas? Yes, they are. Am I right? And they are friendly. They are friendly. You know why? Because it is freezing here. A fat man is attractive in this town. Look at that guy. He looks really warm. Look at him. Mm. The other day, I was just sitting around my apartment, naming my balls. Now, that's what I do. I'd like you all to meet Eric and Weird Tingling Pain, should I see someone. Some of these holidays I can't stand. Like Halloween, I don't enjoy. Because you know what? No matter what I would dress up as, my dad would always put me down. I'd be dressed up as like a little vampire, right? He'd be like, oh, what are you, a little vampire? You want to see something that really sucks? You see that thing sitting on the couch? I gotta f*** that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Toronto! Yes! Help me out, Amagansett. Indian word for good water. Mmm. <laughs> Miss, do you watch porno? You do? What kind do you like? You don't, you don't watch it? You don't at all? Not at all? And how do you, how do you get aroused? Antiquing? What is your... Uh... I saw a 1910 baby high chair, and I just had to change my panties. Uh-oh, that hit a nerve with the summer share people. Anal beads, you know what that is? It got real quiet. All right. Here's what I don't understand. Why do they come in so many different colors when they always come out brown? I don't get it. Is that a kid in here? Yeah. Get that kid out of here. <laughs> get him right over to a therapist. <laughs> Who would bring a fucking kid here? <laughs> what are you gonna do after this, heroin? Get him out of here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amagansi. You guys are great. That's not right. That's not bad. Come on, Listerine is 4.5. I think it's wrong. <laughs> no, since the beer's so weak, I think they should make the bottle out of candy. You know, so you can eat it afterwards. <laughs> That's how stupid guys are. You know, like when it gets cold, we gotta wear cold stuff, and then they gotta put snowflakes on it, so we'll know it's for the cold times. <laughs> should I wear this when it's 100? No, there's a snowflake on it. <laughs> I wear my shirt with soup and volcanoes on it. <laughs> Thank you, Salt Lake City. Yes! Oh, is this a good night or what, huh? Key West. Oh, this town is great. It's the kind of town where you're always 10 feet away from puke, and I love that. All right, what's happening there? Okay, 1985 call. Sit down there, right? Sit business. There you go. The last holdout. You know what bothers me? You always get caught masturbating. You never get caught right after you finish masturbating, you know? When you're sitting there quietly on the couch, watching Who's the Boss playing air guitar, you know what I'm saying? 
Can I see one of those beads? Let me let me just see a ring of them. There you go. All right, see, look at that. I don't mind it, you know, because you got the balls are down here. You got to watch out. You know, you've been drinking too much when you find balls here the next day. All right, guys? <laughs> going the women are pretty hot here but i don't really know how to approach them you know because they drink too so it's really hard to see who's gonna f you know <laughs> the last time i was here i did hook up with a, a beautiful irish girl and we made love and after which she goes that was kind of queek kind of queek and i'm thinking yeah but with the time difference that was like hours <laughs> of sex it's got to be hard for you guys. You know, here I am, some American dude. You know, I came over here for the same reason a lot of other people did, you know, to start a terror cell and, of course, spread anthrax. <laughs> Dublin, thank you very much. It's been an old pleasure. Columbus, how's it going, guys? You doing all right? Columbus, here's something I've learned a long time. The difference between a nice time and a great time is usually an extra finger. But you know what? <laughs> Explain it to the younger ones out here. Oh, I thought I had a parrot on my shoulder. Have you ever had that problem? Nothing? You know, I wish I had a parrot, Columbus. I do, because I wouldn't teach them dirty words or songs. I would teach them things I should know, like phone numbers and recipes. And, you know, I'd use them more like a Palm Pilot, you know? I would teach them things that might save my life in case of a crisis, you know? Like, in case of an earthquake, get in the doorway. <laughs> no one has freckles on their ass. Use a condom. <laughs> Thanks, Barrett. Columbus, thank you very much, everybody.